So I just uploaded my foundation and concealer collection. Now I'm going to be doing my primers and my powders drawer. So if you guys have not checked that out, definitely check it out. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just go ahead and... <laughs> I'm definitely going to declutter these two. I'm not a big fan of stick primers or stick foundations. So I'm going to get rid of both of these milk makeup, the cooling water. I don't know. I've never really noticed anything do anything for me. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then this blur stick, it might be fine. Should I just keep it? Oh my goodness, Mariela. Um, I'm just going to declutter it. I already said I was going to declutter it. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. I don't think I've ever tried this. Mm, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll be easy to pan for next year. <laughs> the Tatcha the Silk Canvas is cute. This could probably be done super quickly as well. And then this one I'm not a super big fan of, especially not right now. In the summertime, I think it does a good job to suck all my oils and keep me matte so i'm just gonna keep that one over here i have drugstore primer so the first one is this elf beautifully bare luminous matte primer i really like it super nice it didn't come with the name so i applied this on here so i knew what the name was definitely going to keep this i do like the nyx pore filler as well i'm going to keep that this one's super nice as well the soap and glory one heck of a blot instant perfecting power primer this one is good for pores this one, the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. I don't think it's super mattifying, but it does help control oil. So I'm going to keep that. In here, CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm going to keep this one. I don't have very many luminous primers. I think I'll be okay without it. So I'm going to declutter it. This is the Instant Luminous Finish Nude Glow Primer. And then the last primer in here from the drugstore is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer gotten some use out of it but i am going to keep that these foundation mixers probably should repurchase some new ones this is the olive one to make it more warm olive tone and then this is just the white one to lighten deeper complexion foundations these just live in here so i'm going to keep that there over here is my high-end primers so this one's the pores be gone matte primer by first aid beauty this one's really nice I really like this. It's kind of like you would think it'd be a silicone based primer, but it's more, I feel like it's water based. It says oil free. So yeah, water based primer. I really like it. It's really like smoothing and it's also mattifying. It's a really good primer. I also really like this Becca first light priming filter. It just gives a really pretty glow to the skin. I'm going to keep this. I also really like this Clarins SOS primer. It says, it, this is the peach one, I believe. Yep, 02 peach, and it's supposed to blur imperfections. It does a really good job to blur the skin, so also going to keep that. This is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I don't remember what I think of this, but... I think I'm just going to keep it because it's just a smaller deluxe size. This one's really good for pores as well. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone. It's really good. Going to keep that. This one's good for pores as well. The Professional by Benefit. Going to keep that. This one is the Too Faced Hangover X Replenishing Face Primer. And this one's a hydrating primer. I don't remember having this in my collection. Um, I guess I'll keep that. This one is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Um, I got this from BoxyCharm a while ago. The only thing I don't like about this is that it... This is how it comes out. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal or what, but now it's all over my sweater. But it looks really pretty on the skin. Look at that. You know, like instantly blurred my skin right there. Plus kind of hydrated it because it's so dry. I'm going to keep it. This one is a hydrating primer. This is the Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer by Marc Jacobs. I got this from Marshalls. Again, products from Marshalls, I feel like they've probably been sitting for a while before they actually hit Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So this is probably something I need to use up soon. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. This one's really nice as well. It just kind of smooths the skin. It's just hydrating on the skin as well. I really like it, so I'm going to keep this as well. This one's really good, but I've had it for a while. I should pen this. This is expensive primer. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I really like it, so I'm going to keep that. The 
touch and so no problem primer smooth and pour i think it does a good job and then this one i need to use it more i picked it up from boxycharm beauty's facebook group because they had gotten for Sally in their boxycharm months and months ago you probably have gone if you have boxycharm i don't know if you've recently gone for Sally. so i want to use this i know my friend rania just purchased this during black friday and she really liked the way her skin looks when she used a sample up I don't use this very often to remember what my skin looks like so I'm just gonna keep this because it's an expensive product and it would be awesome to be able to count this one day in a <laughs> uh, in the year empties. So in here I only pretty much got rid of three primers. For all the primers I'm going to get rid of let's go ahead and go into the powder drawer. Oh, I also have this. I think this is more of a skincare product, but I put it in here. This is the Specca Skin Love Glowy Glow Elixir. Let me know if you've used this up. Do you use it as a skincare product or do you use it as a primer? I've heard people use them for both. We're going to do powder. So I do have the Too Faced Ethereal Powder in my Shop My Stash. That's in my restroom. I definitely like that powder. I'm definitely going to keep it. I also really like this collab set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder i have the shade porcelain ivory it's really good and it just makes your skin look smooth you can find a uh, collab at sally beauty also really enjoyed my huda beauty pound cake i had a full size of the kat von d setting powder and translucent i decided to just keep the small one because i don't know i thought it was okay but i wasn't like in love with it Everybody's skin type's different. I did give it to my friend Jasmine and she really loves it. So I just kept the little one and I am just going to still keep the little one. I don't think I'm going to really declutter much from in here. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. This one's actually really nice. I was actually really enjoying that powder. Um, over here I have the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I have the shade Medium. And here's what mine looks like it's very messy i should probably try to finish this off i'm just thinking finish 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 um this one's the becca brightening violet powder in translucent um it's just like a purple tinted powder it's supposed to be good for brightening the under eyes i don't really reach for this but maybe i should this one is the essence brighten up banana powder i finished off a few of these and this one needs more love, so I'm going to keep this. I do like that. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Light. This one's really nice as well. It just kind of sets the skin nicely, and it just kind of blurs it a little bit. I do like this one a lot. This one's really good for pores. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed, and it's just in translucent as well. It's really good for pores. Definitely keeping that. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder in the shade fair i really like this <laughs> as well and it, it sets the skin nicely and i do like that i feel like this is a dupe to this one the mac blot powder um this is just in medium dark i feel like they're dupes they pretty much do the same thing on my skin it sets it nicely it just makes but it doesn't look heavy on the skin i think it's really nice so definitely keeping the cover girl i just got it this one i've had sealed for a while Maybe I should just open it. It's in here for a reason, right? This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the shade Transparent. I'm going to keep this and try to use it. This one seemed to be like comparable to the CoverGirl and the MAC one too. This is the Kat Von D Blotting Powder in Light. I need to use this more. I don't remember the last time I used this, but I remember actually really liking it. Ooh, this one's super nice, but I think it's discontinued. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder in the shade Classic Ivory. They kind of run a little dark. Um, this is beautiful to use as just foundation or to set the skin. It just really like smooths your skin. It's so pretty. I always look for like smoothing powders. This is the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in Medium. This one's okay. I don't remember loving it, but I didn't hate it either. I don't know. I just don't have very many things I want to get rid of. Kat Von D. Locket Powder Foundation in Medium 57. I thought about declaring this, but I don't really have very many powder foundations in my collection anymore. I just finished a MAC one. So I'm going to keep this just in case I want to use like a powdered foundation. Oh, talking about powder foundation, the Makeup Forever Velvet Skin. Um, this is in the shade Y245. I really like it. I kind of want to get rid of this. Maybe put it in here. 
There is a powder in here I want to get rid of, which is this one, the MAC in Soft Focus. It's really yellow for me, so I definitely want to get rid of that. I thought about getting rid of these two because I never use them, but maybe I should put this. I don't know. We'll leave that in here. I don't think this fits in here. Nope. But this is vanilla from ABH, and that was a Make a Geek bronzer, actually. So that should probably be in my bronzer drawer. Definitely keeping this, but I did get rid of that soft focus from MAC. It's too yellow for me. Oh, and then lastly, again, I do have the MAC blotch powder, and then this is a Studio Fix in the shade C40. This is too dark for me right now. I'm going to keep it for summertime, see if it matches me then, but right now it doesn't match me. It's a really good powder to use like as actual foundation. It's actually pretty nice. So this is the Velvetizer by Urban Decay. I actually really like this. I don't use this to mix in with my foundation. I pretty much use it. Sets my skin and my skin looks super pretty. Definitely keeping that. This is the Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Matte About It. I really like this. I got this from BoxyCharm. I definitely enjoyed that. This one, AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in Soft Light. I don't remember what I think of this well. Mm. And I picked it up because a lot of people were raving about it. Mm, I think it was only a dollar. I want to keep it. I'm not just going to declutter to declutter. Uh, Magic Skin Powder from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Super pretty. I really like that. Definitely keeping my Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder in Translucent Light. It's so pretty. It definitely blurs the skin. This one's really nice as well. The Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. I have the shade Translucent. It's really pretty as well. It just kind of smooths. Sets the skin nicely. And I feel like it kind of blurs the skin. Not blurs. It just sets the skin really good and it doesn't look heavy. This is just the RCMA powder that I depotted from this to here because I hate the packaging on that. Do you guys know if the RCMA has flashback? Because I'm kind of thinking I should probably use it whenever I freelance. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this powder. I don't really like white powders. That's probably why I don't really reach for this. One that I think I'm going to declutter is this Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. I've never really been a fan of this. I feel like it kind of changes the look of my foundation. It is a peachy color. I thought of keeping it, but honestly, the, the scent of this is overpowering. I don't really like the scent. And I'm not a big fan of this powder either. So I think I'm going to declutter it. I think I am because... Every time I use it, I'm like, man, it's okay. Like, it's never been a powder I'm in love with. So I'm just going to get rid of that. This one's really nice. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It sets the skin nicely. It makes my skin look pretty. Oh my gosh, there's so much powder everywhere. I'm going to keep that. This one's definitely staying. The Kimchi Puff of Pass Set and Bake Powder in Translucent is awesome. Definitely keeping that. And those are all my powders that are now full of powder. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and we're going to do brows. Maybe I'll just pull my brows down here. My, I'll pull my brow products. So I'm going to declutter this ABH Brow Pomade in Ebony. I'm going to ask my friend if she wants this. It's pretty much new. I bought it this year and it's still pretty good. Um, I'm not a fan of pomades, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I do like the Kush Milk Makeup Fiber Brow Gel. This is in the shade Grind. I really like that. I do like the Precise Day My Brow by Benefit. This Milani Weekend Brows. Interesting. It's a pin, but I like it. Um, this one's okay. I don't think I would repurchase. This is a Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I'm going to get rid of this. The Chella Ivory Lace Highlight. I never use this. I've had it forever. This is pretty much the same thing. I'm going to keep this one just because it's newer. The Chella is definitely super old. Um, I'm going to keep both of my ABH brow pencils. I have Brow Wiz and a Brow Definer. I have a Clear Brow Gel. Also the Tardiest Brow Gel. And I think I'm going to get rid of this because I never use it. I don't ever use clear brow gel. I just use like tinted brow gel. So I'm going to get rid of that. Maybe offer it to my friend that I'll be sending the pomade to. I don't, maybe I've used it like a few times. But shouldn't the wand be like brown if I have used it? Yeah, it looks clear. I never reach for this. So I'm going to get rid of that. ABH brow gel. 
this looks like dried up. I was thinking, didn't I use one of these up? Did I just stick it in here? Because it looks like all, like, it doesn't even look new. It looks used. I think this needs to be in the empties because I remember using one of these up. And I don't remember having more. I'm just going to move that out of here. And the last products in here, I have the Brow Styler by Benefit. So you kind of get, like, the brow definer up here and then the bottom is pretty much like a powder i do like it i do find that i have to really tap off any excess of the powder from the bottom because i have found that i do get some of the brow powder on my face if i have my foundation done already and then i have the cabrow i have a little mini like pomade i'm gonna keep this this is little it's fine i, I can keep this this one i'm thinking of i'm gonna keep it yeah, I'm going to keep it. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in Ebony. I'm going to keep that. So I did get rid of four brow products and two powders. Next up I have to share with you guys is setting sprays. The first one I have here from my collection is the cover effects high performance setting spray you guys i don't like the packaging on this it sprays super funky and i did get this duo from marshall's so i pulled the little one out so i can test it out and see what i thought of it honestly i don't really know because the sprayer nozzle on this sucks to be honest so i ended up pulling out the big one and it's the same thing the nozzle on this is not good i think i'm gonna change it out to a different spray bottle because this spray bottle is not good and go from there so honestly i don't really know what i think of this i need to switch it out to be able to really know what i think about it but if you've tried this out let me know what you think next up i have the smashbox photo finish primer water this is the set and refresh spray I do like it. It's good to set the skin and just kind of melts the powders onto the skin. I think it does a really good job. I haven't used this as a primer, but I do like it. I also have the MAC Fix Plus Matte version. It does kind of melt the powders onto the skin, but kind of more mattifying than the regular Fix Plus would do. I do like it, and I'm pretty much halfway, so I think this will be a product I will be have empty next year. Next up, I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. These are really nice. I do like these. They're pretty affordable from the drugstore. Super nice. Do a good job to uh, set my skin. I don't think it's like super long wearing or anything, but it smells nice, and it's pretty nice for a drugstore option. Um, this is the Revlon Prep Set and Refresh. I don't know. This is a product that I'm just like, meh. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. You know, it does the job to set the skin and... It's, it just sets my skin. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I do like this. I think it does a good job to set. This one's another one. Favorites from the drugstore. This is a Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It's really nice. And again, from the drugstore, it sets the skin really good. This one I don't really reach for a ton. This is the ABH Suey, Suey. Dewy Set Setting Spray. I think I'm going to try to use this up to like kind of like as a primer like a glowy primer so I'm gonna this one I do like for like to add like a luminous finish to my skin this is the Lumi L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist um I had heard that this was a dupe to the Tatcha Dewy Mist I'm not sure if it is I actually have a mini of that I should probably test that out but I do like this, this is a really good option from the drugstore the Morphe and Jeffree Star Scent and Refresh Mist. This is the Starberry scent. I don't really like the scent, to be honest. I remember when I first smelled it, I'm like, mmm, it smells good, but it's kind of a little overpowering. Let me see. I feel like a kid applying this to my skin. This is probably something I should pan and finish off. I definitely like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist way more the original. I don't know why I'm putting my mists in the way. I do like this one way more than this one. The original feels lighter than this one. I've definitely been using this one more. I don't really like the scent of this. I don't know. I kind of don't. I kind of want to get rid of it because I don't like the scent. Um, this one is another one that's kind of like it's not amazing, but it doesn't suck either. I think it's it's it does the job. 
And then the last one, this one's super nice. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. This one's super nice. I really like this one a lot. This one just like melts the powders onto the skin and just sets my skin super nicely. I would definitely repurchase this. Would recommend it. I definitely like that. I'm going to keep this one. And I think I'm just going to get rid of the Jeffree Star collab with Morphe. I don't like the scent. It's really kind of overpowering. I'm sure one of my friends will take it off my hands. So I'm going to put these back. And I also actually have... Um, more setting sprays in my backup drawer. I'll show you guys. What's... So this is my backup drawer of setting sprays. I pretty much have, again, setting sprays right here. And then these are all just sponges on this side. So I do have a Mac Fix Plus that's in my backup drawer. I don't have a normal Max Fix Plus. So maybe I can put this one in my collection. This one's a charged water. It's just kind of like one that I use to refresh the skin. This one is the Urban Decay Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. I was kind of saving these for when I freelance. I didn't really want to be using them. This one for sure for freelancing. This is the Makeup Primer Spray. It's really nice. I, I Instead of me using like an actual primer with my hands and stuff, I just spray this on my client's face. And I just spray this on and it's a primer. Um, maybe I will pull this out for me to use. Because if it's just sitting here, it's going to go bad if it's sitting up there for me to reach for it and use it a few times. You know what I mean? So maybe I should. I'm going to pull this out because I don't have one of these. And then this will go into my collection. Again, I have two of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Sprays. I have this Germany Hydrating Mist. And then the last spray I have in here is a Smashbox Crystallized Photo Finish Crystal Clarity Primer Water. Again, it's just a primer water. This one's in the scent Lavender and Sweet Orange. It's pretty much like the Photo Finish Regular, but this is just scented. So I'm going to leave this here. So again, this is going into where I can reach for my sprays. So that is my primer, powder, and setting spray collection slash mini declutter. I'm not getting rid of too many products, but I am kind of just curating my collection a little bit, a little bit getting rid of products that I don't really like or reach for. And yeah, I'm going to continue on, probably do bronzers and blushes oh i need highlighters i don't think i'm gonna do everything i do have liners but i don't think that's very like exciting i do definitely need to do a face palette and eyeshadow palettes and i think i will be done with my showing you guys my collection slash mini declutter and then i will be filming a collection like rearranging my collection maybe in the next week or so i'll be filming it just because I'm working and I'm trying to do vlogmas and it's kind of hard to try to rearrange and edit and stuff like that I want. So I want to have some days to be able to film that and not be rushing to rearrange it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!